So today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the best cozy games for the Nintendo Switch that are not farming sims. So let's just kick this thing off right away with Princess Peach Showtime. So when I first played the demo of this game, I have to admit, I was not super impressed. I was kind of hoping this would have been more of a 2D or 3D platformer. But I decided I would give this game a try anyway because I grew up playing Mario, big Nintendo fan, so gave it a try. And I have to say that I'm not disappointed in this game at all, actually. This game is great if you want to just play a nice, laid-back, short game. This is the perfect game to play if you don't have a lot of time because the levels are pretty short. You can get through them pretty quickly, and this is also the perfect game to play if you just kind of want to play something chill, relaxing, stress-free, as it's not too difficult to just get through the levels. Now, I believe that there is some challenge to be had here with finding all the collectibles in the level, which I'm not very good at, actually, and there are these special bonus levels called rehearsals, which really do give you a challenge. Actually, I don't think I've even fully beaten any of those. I haven't even bothered because I'm just enjoying the laid back pace of this game. You go through different levels. It's basically an action adventure game that's more on the cozy side, more easy for casual gamers. You got the sword fighter peach levels, the superhero peach levels, the mermaid levels. You even have some little spin-off mini game like levels with the level where you're baking and the detective levels. And I have to say that I am enjoying this game. It's nothing like out of this world, but it is a great cozy game for the Nintendo Switch. Now, one of the most relaxing cozy games that I have played on the Nintendo Switch is none other than Kirby and the Forgotten Land. This game is perfect, phenomenal, an excellent 3D platformer up there with some of the best of all time. I would argue that this one might even be better than Super Mario Odyssey. The music in this game is just so great, so chill. The gameplay is phenomenal. It does offer a challenge. I believe, I know some people say it's like baby easy, but I think it does offer a challenge finding the collectibles. Some of the boss fights will give you a little bit of a hard time, but it's nothing too crazy. This is something that anyone can play and beat and enjoy, whether you're a hardcore gamer, if you consider yourself that, or a casual gamer. I think I'm somewhere in between. I just like to play all kinds of different games, but the art style, the graphics for this game look great, and this is just classic 3D platforming at its finest. A great game to just relax to. I highly recommend it. Now, I never played the original, but when I first played the remake of Super Mario RPG, I just kept thinking to myself, like, this game is just so relaxing. Like, this is a cozy game. I know people don't usually talk about this game as a cozy game, but this game is just awesome. The combat is engaging and fun and does offer a challenge with the post game and all that some of the secret bosses and i believe throughout the game it does offer a little bit of a challenge even though people say it's super easy but you can even play this on the super easy mode if you want to and the story in this one is humorous it's great the music is great the characters are great and i just never felt so relaxed and cozy playing a jrpg since playing pokemon yellow as a kid which was the first JRPG that I ever played. Super Mario RPG is definitely one of the best cozy RPGs that you can play, period, right now. Speaking of Pokemon Yellow, the remakes of that game, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, are some of the most relaxing, cozy games available for the Nintendo Switch. These games look great probably has the best art style and graphics out of any modern Pokemon game besides the spin-offs. The music is nice and laid back. Gen 1 Pokemon classic music. And this game actually reduces some of the grinding, so you don't have to worry about getting into wild battles all the time. I know a lot of people critiqued or criticized that mechanic of just throwing a Pokeball and catching them that way, but actually it makes it its own unique adventure and take on Pokemon Yellow. Um, it just makes it less grinding, 
a little more laid back, easy, faster to beat. And this game is just a lot of fun, has a lot of charm. You're able to have your Pokemon follow you around. You can see them all in full 3D, which looks awesome. You can change the outfits on your Pokemon trainer and your Pikachu. And this is just a classic Pokemon adventure remade for a new audience and OG fans alike. Now this next game is another one that I have talked about on the channel before, but if we're going to talk about cozy games, I had to bring this one up. And you know it's Blue Reflection Second Light. The life uh, sim mechanics in this game, the relationships, the music, just the whole setting, the art style, the bright colors, everything about this game is just so cozy, so relaxing, so laid back. It's an awesome JRPG has a great battle system. You can adjust the difficulty to your liking, and this one is definitely a hidden gem for all my JRPG fans out there. And even if you've never played a JRPG, I would recommend if you want something laid back, give Blue Reflection Second Light a chance for the Nintendo Switch. Or if you, even if you don't have a Switch, any console you can play this game on. This is definitely worth your time and money. Yoshi's Crafted World is one of the most charming looking games that I have seen for the Nintendo Switch. This game truly is a crafted world. Everything from the actual gameplay to the world map to the menus are all made with handcrafted items in a 3D world, of course. But um, this game just looks great. It's a great game for casual gamers or those just wanting a laid back casual experience. You're not going to really find any challenge here with the platforming. But if you approach this game for what it is, which is just a charming looking collectathon, there is some fun to be had here. And there is a bit of a challenge in finding all the collectibles of this game. I haven't played a whole lot of it, but from what I have played, I do enjoy this game. And I think it has a place in my Nintendo Switch library. A lot of people have criticized it for being too easy. So if you're looking for something like 2D Mario or the Donkey Kong Country series, you're not going to get that. You might not even get what you're going to get in the 2D Kirby games. Like this game is probably even easier than that. But if you approach it for what it is, a laid back collect-a-thon, this can be a lot of fun with two players as well. Especially if you're playing with a younger more less experienced gamer or even someone who doesn't really play games you can definitely have some fun with Yoshi's Crafted World. Another game that got criticized for being too easy is Kirby Star Allies but this is still a great cozy relaxing game. The thing about this game is that this is a cozy multiplayer game so you can play this single player and have a decent time with it but this game was pretty much made to be played with at least two players because if you play by yourself, you'll still have these three AI companions with you doing a lot of the work and a lot of the fighting. So it kind of does feel like the game plays itself for you if you play in one player mode. But this is a great game to also play with younger gamers or less experienced gamers. You can have a lot of fun. This still has that classic Kirby charm to it with the great music, the great art style graphics, and great looking levels. And actually, I haven't made it there yet, but I hear that the post-game content for this game can actually get really like crazy hard. So I look forward to getting to that one day. But that's it for this list of seven best cozy games for the Nintendo Switch. If you all enjoy this content, please drop a like. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel because if you like this, maybe I'll do a part two for cozy games. Thanks for watching. Peace.